idea of jumping up on top of this gray box and maybe catch somebody off guard. But there's three people here, and there it is. Dwightfo caught off guard. But nothing for free. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Side, and Ross isn't going to be one of the first points of contact. No wall to deny this plant, but there is one on the other side. However, Curry not done fragging just yet. He picks up the next. This pony will hop his way into the kill feed, and that spike yet to be planted. They just don't feel safe at this point, and well, that's for good reason. Everybody falls in the... Already up top. Gonna find the first, that being on Curry. That's the Vandal down. One of them already cut down, so only two more to worry about. Oh, Steel, looking to push through mid and answered by nerf too much. A, a big position here from Dwifo on the flank. He needs to try and get something early if they do want to get into this round. Aries, it seems like just containment name of the game here. Seven slowly creeping on out, and Dwifo finds another, so the odds are even. But you hear the clock. You'd have to go right now if you do want to go in seven. That's no. the call. He's going to hop onto the spike. He's just trying to hold no. it all the way. He almost gets it. It comes down to the wire. But Rustin will find the kill, and Dwifo will force a tuck yeah. tail and head for the hills as Exploitator secure the round. Wow, that is quite... That deepest angle Inferno will be a bit planted. safe plant down as Steel. And they have to buy a lot of it. T1 already looking to come in on the retake. Utility use. Recon Volk going to ping out three, maybe four, but it doesn't matter. Redux and Rustin going to find the first here, and they're just starting to cut T1 down. They had rifles. In their hand, Seven was glass cannon. He gets caught on the rendezvous. He's holding the line with the operator. Nerf is walking straight into him, and he'll get oh, just live in his viper's pit, waiting for his opportunity. Curry too, holds above and cut off by a viper's pit. No time to run on the rotation complex, though. Will attempt to fight forward, get something more, but it's ten seconds. This one's over, and Twifle looks to confirm that he's on the line. Off angle, the swing there, but Verno better at it. So next, Flickbaiters will survive for now, but the round. It'll be lost. Explicators still able to buy in this one. As Steel, Hunter Fury trying to get something, and well, that he does. Complex goes down. The true shot barrage will land, and Redux dashes onto the site. Forced to skip away with Curry with 4 HP. The dismiss will get him to safety, but 7. Round, unless he can find himself a nice little 4 piece on the way out, and he picks up 7. That's a great start. He's also got the spike and a couple of snake fights here to play with. And this is the best plant position possible for him. He gets one, he can fall back, work around if it's a resurrection. They want to be careful about this one, and well, the res wasn't even needed. Dwifo had the angle, it was a 50 50. 7 teleports away, looking to play the high ground. Redux, Cloud Burst trying to cross. Again, you're just not expecting to be there. Now you have- We're just waiting on the recharge. It'll come back up, and so A's the destination. There's one man, a little bit forward here, but that's not where the initial frag comes. Instead, Swifo pushing for security information. In mid, he's rewarded. Pony, he yeah. flips waiters again. Face them to the enemy brick wall in the final hour, and they won't even be allowed to survive. Verno may scrap away, tail puck. You need to get, in some way, somehow get deeper with the Owl drone, but instead of using the utility, Redux wants to use the rifle in his hands and he does so efficiently taking down a seven so it's operator off the table it's no tour de force on the defensive end meanwhile rustin's got one in his hands and we'll see if he can not only hit the bodies but also hit the brakes because of the slow that happens and he might not be needed he's so far off the side and redux and complex are just holding it down finally steel will get something back but it's just not enough here once more the clock is ticking a 1vx situation this time it's pony trying to tuck the tail and head because you can just continue to bolster here. You get five shots, and your operator, well, unfortunately, you know, they're looking for a timeshare of their own, and they've been claiming this B site. Now, ex want it back. They've had enough. They said, this is our home, and uh, you know what? It's not for sale anymore. So the last two rounds have kind of just gone like this. Nerf once more. A lurk this time way over towards the A site, and it catches the lingering Curry. And T1 down to their last three as Redux hops away. The health is low, but Nerf's still doing it. The flank still goes unanswered to steal up close and personal. Playing inside the barrier orb as it's broken. And it's perfect. Cover and concealment for two kills. And he needed five on the round. And well, five. The rest of the squad looks to go fast. Looks to try and sell this fake out towards B. But the rotations from T1 are perfect. They're not rotating through that defender side. It's fun. They're going through A and they're finding the kills on the spikes. The Viper, meanwhile, died out towards that B site. It was all for naught as Redux takes heaps of damage, forced back away. Now gonna re-peek into Curry. Trades up some damage himself. 
We'll need that healing orb, and a resurrection is available should they use it here. But it's T1 off to a great start for Redux. Steals one right dad. back and things. They push through. They found the info. And now Seven is posted. He's been on this angle round after round, but Redux was just not suspecting it. So now there are issues. Limited options, 30 seconds on the clock. This is almost forced to be an A hit, but T1 has had ample time to set up a high-low. Seal baits in for no his teammate. Repositions, Curry is at this close angle, and he's just not going to get cleared. Back Finds his, dismisses a. away. The wall goes up. There are so many resources being placed to deny X. Flick Vader's even a molly on the spike. It's over. Complex has a one versus four. He has no time on the clock, and he has to face basically a triple crossfire to even get a chance at that spike. This one is strictly not happening, and well, he'll find a kill, it should be all over. As T1 is firing on all cylinders, and a Redux, oh no, wait, Waifo escapes, but he's caught with his orb in hand, and we go back and forth for two on each side. Unfortunately, damage dealt onto the Sage of X Flick Baiters. Means that he's got to use that healing orb on himself, as nerfed will steal back another frag. Vernal playing on the opposite side of the wall, and once more, the trades, they're good to keep us even, but the flank through mid has been so good on the day. Now it's all up to seven. We just talked about it, how good he can be and what he means for his team. He's firing on all cylinders. Unfortunately, he's got a couple of weird angles to worry about the next flick. Stay down. Redux. The second noise is made. T1 know they need kills, and they're gonna aggress. All Sonics, we go deep, wall up, but they're not ready for Redux on the high ground of his own. The jumping shot will connect. Tony's will. The classic strong in his hands, and he'll find a double. But Rustin, what a way to shut it down! The lurk off the chamber. The headhunter does its job, and it's like Vader's. Oof. Okay, Twyfo. Today and. Yeah, you're really in a tough spot here if you don't start pushing forward. So the wall goes up, the spike goes down, Redux is able to steal one back. Finally, T1 are in a decent spot. And they can play in the post plan of seven, just inside the rendezvous, trying to find something before teleporting away. And we'll see how much they invest onto a lurk. Is it seems like playing yellow, playing B long seems to be the name of the game. Nice shot from seven. Not yet to teleport. It looks to go back for some more. He'll find Redux headhunter in hand at a little time. Looking to hunt something down. Maybe find himself an upgrade before that spike blows. And I don't think he's making it out with that one as he does find the upgrade. Does escape the explosion and almost finds the dart. Good reveal. It's broken in time. So Nerf stays alive. But surely he's suspected on this angle. Surely he's clear. Oh, yep, he absolutely was. He took down the Leer, but Curry trades him out of body. Of course, Mutility favorable as Redux picks up one, now has the Blades online, wants to go aggressive. Meanwhile, Steel, oh, Steel's doing it to him here on the Lurk. But at the end of the day, time is of the essence. Steel needs to go huge. He picks up two, but Redux is still alive, and he's just got to buy time as Pony. Now looking to go for the plant here in the 1v2. Redux still has the blade. will land oh, another, but... T1 team, and I know back on 100 keys, Steel was doing no most way. of the pre-round calling, and then Nitro was adding in the mid-round. So maybe it's the hallmark of the mixture of the two, but in this one, formation is here. Uh, you can't really contain Curry, because he's just up top, running around with the Emperor's top, and Deke's ultimate ability is the Viper's pit is up too. Man disadvantage against the pit, this retake is top. Very tough, and it gets a whole lot harder, but the Empress finally knocked down a peg there. Curry taken off of his throne. Is Vernal going to find the next? But we continue to go back and forth, and you can't go back and forth when you lost a player nice and early away from this back and forth, and, well, they're going to find double digits. Yeah, I don't always love today. The slow rounds feel intentional, as it's going to be a push out for a nerfed. Oh, he had the angle, but the Bulldog only able to get one in that situation. They really do have... The world. Oh, look! Look at the spawn. They're trying to damn. You give him something. At least 600 credits. 950 credits. You put something in his hands, and he will do some damage. The headhunter looks to reap the same rewards. Unable to do so as Verno swings through. Picks up seven. That's the operator down, and it might be a. Okay, here we go. Stick to the fuse. Pony trying to close it out, and at the end of the day, Pony. Keeps the round alive for T1. The clutch comes through the. You want to he play? Loses round, Let's and then play. money's gonna look crippled against map point. But Redox, what a way to get it. Players, I should say, out towards yellow. Unfortunately, Redox not quite finding the value. Just no, the backstab, perfect timing. Vernal thinking he was safe. Win this round. And T1 have to go. They need to start sprinting it. It feels like they're about to save for some reason. A steel creeps up. Curry's able to find Redux. Rustin eventually goes down and 
There it is, just enough time. But if you're a T1 fan, you're holding your breath in these rounds. At the end of the day, it works, but there's no contingencies to running out of time. And with this, x Faders have to hang on to what they've got. It's complex, takes an op shot. It does not land flush on Courier. does not land at all. And Waifo now on the hunt. Slow pacing we saw yesterday. On, on split, it was uninspired. They did not buy enough. What? Okay. Nerf dropping from midair finds the frag. He might even get a second on Curry. No way he survives. Not gonna have to be mid. They have to be leaning out towards B. And Explic Baders, they're ready for it. Perno takes up no one. Way. Make it to his Swipe Swipe falls. Down, That's B. the spike down. And what a precarious position for that spike B. Huh? Inside tube. Somebody's got to get up in the kitchen to get it. And Steel might just be the savior here of this round of seven. Gonna go wide on a headhunter shot. Unfortunately, they only land through the wall, one through the body. Nice remain. shock start, but Steel will... One in the two, one back on the counter. But it, the angles just aren't quite right. I mean, the hero of that round, it's just got to be Verno. Who's two frags? Yeah. So critical. And one at a time, funneling through a choke point. That's just never going to work. Even if there's only one play. Hello, box. He remains unseen. Are they ready for it? Curry definitely is not in the rendezvous. We'll get Rust into safety. A resurrection you. Brings them back on the table, but the Hunter's Fury, it's just perfect. Complex puts things right back. It'd just be seven with the fight out court. Spawn, no. They're still alive, but he's getting aggressive. Going forward on this one, seven not ready, but the TP there to keep him up. Now it's Verno. Dude up, dude forward. The spam down, T1 will fall away. And with the Hunter's Fury, they have a great post plan. Wipo actually gonna be the one to even the odds. Oh my goodness, they're stealing all back. Wipo done playing here on Icebox, but Redux. He might not be finished just yet. Is anybody close enough? The vulnerability comes through. Snake bites down. Redux needs to hop onto the spike, but he just got the lineup. Larry's playing the angle. He's on the rope. Up. For them to try and make safe passage. Unfortunately, Rustin, not the safest player here on the map. The seven, the first kill here on split is going to be way of the boom bot. I'm not complaining about that one. We get to see one of those nice and early. Is Curry able to find the next complete rip? Off the server here in the pistol round, and Pony, we saw him here yesterday, and you're thinking, what are you doing here, buddy? What is going on? You're Ten-year-old kid trying to get this one done, but uh, he's a I'm starting to agree with you, Kano. The run and gun, it's a funny gun, but it's, it's a not so funny way to end them. Still, it's lesser weapons, so it's close-range demons, so they want to close the gap a little bit and set themselves up for the long-range tools, which you see right there. Complex did not have the gun for the job. The shorty in close. Surely he gets one here, right? Come on, Nerf. Uh, let's see it. He's got something. He's probably waiting for the spike plant. That's like, swing. Here comes the Ooh, swing. There we go. He got his. It's a 2v2. Guns are covered. Wait a minute. This is risky. Only 54 HP to work with for steel and nerfed. Just swings through Pony, though. Healthy. He has the area. He's a great gun. The dash forward. That's bold. Wow. But Nerf has recovered a Spectre. I was just talking about economic damage. About getting something done with the shorty. But the something that's done, I'm kind of I'm kind of a fan of Era. I don't know. Either way, we'll have to see if T1 can make themselves an Era. Get things going. A tournament win here would be great. And a 2-0 here would be even better. It's complex. We'll talk to himself close. 7-0. Oh, no, that gun is so good. 10 seconds on the clock. The pace is no matter as T1 gets the plant down. And they have man advantage and an unhealthy Redux. And Nerf on top of it. Pony has a freebie here. That's a gun that can be recovered. And now it's like... So with maybe four still alive. Okay, Nerf. Well, to take down one, Steel falls, and now three more to worry about as that spike continues to tick. Two players are far off the site. See that raise just around the corner as well. Seven's gonna find the kill. He's right on in. The shot does miss, but Rita, surely they don't suspect him. That's one. He looks for more, but this cavalry is incoming. Perno keeps his teammate alive. I don't know if he's making fans he's not like today. I don't know if he's making fans, but a good flash from Steel. Trying to rally the fans together. Unfortunately, it's just all for naught. The bodies are starting to drop, but Curry again doing damage. He's got the spike in hand. He's got time to play with, and both players, Rex Flickbaiters, are across the map. The Seekers going to give the information that he needs as exactly where they are. That's where Rex Flickbaiters stack this play. He's a smoke. That's the point. on the spike. It's a swing forward, and the body shot duel. The healthier will win not being nerfed. Slick Bader. Look at Seal. This is really sneaky. He plays just on the close corner of this wall. Has to TP away, but he's not ready for complex. The Ares comes alive. Takes down the initial frag that just up against a denied push from Bane. And Nerf, oh no, doesn't find anything. Find That's crucial. Splits the uprights as that cosmic divide gets used, and the one taps in full effect. Rustin 
with the Guardian. So, so big. But now he goes into the Astral Form and Pony gonna take him down, romping and stomping with his hooves. He's able to sneak away. Go Astral himself. He used that Nebula Smoke to try and sneak away from the Jet. Meanwhile, on the side, it's the Viper's Pit used. It's the Spike planted, but the Lockdown Pony trying to line it up, trying to destroy it, and he succeeds in doing so. So the 2v2 no longer in favor of x as the Knives get ripped out of the sky. The Guardian continues to go huge. Complex now in a 1v1 knows exactly where Thwaipo is. Vulnerability around the corner for both of these players. It's up close with the shorty and Thwaipo on top. Also with Sova, re-clearing space. None of that is true. For this squad of X-Flickbaiters, they have... There are T1. Well, they're out on the ace site now, Tanner. They have it completely there. It has to be this retake. The showstopper playing space. They have to shut down the plant. And the showstopper of X-Flickbaiters own, but it does not work out. Seven sends him into the face. has been... Such a problem, this x Fader squad, and well, it doesn't get any better. Tried to hang on to the Ops South, and he remains in this position for now. Nebula Smoke is going to be pushed right through. Nano Swarm's there, and Redux, he eventually goes. One for one as Bruno is here to try and back him up. Spraying okay. through the smoke, picks up two, and T1 chipped away at their hurt. Balls ringing in the x Fader's camp with 10 seconds on the clock. This would have to be an A commitment. I don't think it's going to happen. Saving here is an option, but T1, they do have money. They can go for this. They can make one the attempt, and remaining. they've made one fall away, but Rustin is there, and Complex as well, flying to the same side with the timer. Again, they let this become an issue round after round, and they'll reveal one, but the shot missed still. It's a one-for-one one trade timer. Eight. Again, such an issue. Complex close in the corner, goes unchecked, but the first looks for more. Complex does it. Needs just one more and listen to the clock tick down. It's a beat of 10 and it's Verno with, he's on such a, what? How does that not hit? Nothing connects. Maybe he moved just a tad, but it's unfortunate to say the least. His Viper utility still up. His Redux claims one and now Nerf, he's pressed four off T1. It now has to be the play from mid. Pony on the push. He's facing past the smoke and Nerf, he does get Redux. Is he known? Not yet. Verno for a shot, but the trades are good. Now Redux needs to be the hero. Young man in its position has the showstopper out of the molly for now, wasting time, and it's a connection. Now this cross has to be made run forward for twice, foe, but he's straight into the maw of two. It's you got everything you need to work with here. A little bot there in close. I was wondering if it would be passable. Not quite, but Seal, he sure as hell is going to push past. Doesn't work well for him. It's he'll fall in the smoke is Swifo. Right click connection, but still, that pull is dangerous. He'll avoid the vulnerability as he'll keep dragging that 3 4 Swifo oh up to the plate. He'll knock the. You saw the angles that were covered. It's not a whole lot with the wall that they used. It's not like this one that we're seeing coming out of X-Flickbaiters where nobody can peek from heaven. Sure, they might be able to peek from back screens, but they got the Ash for you till to cut off those sight lines, and now they have the sight for free. They're able to storm their way on. No flashes needed. No information gathered outside of jumping on and finding the frags. Now they need to keep doing it. Things are even across the board. A 3v3. T1 in the retake, and the spike's planted. Vulnerability does numbers there is the first two are grabbed for this retake. It's good positioning from T1. Two out from nine and the remainder coming through heaven. Utility getting used nice and early to try and zone T1 out on their own, but it stays slow for now. Flypo goes wide on the swing and knows he'll knock him out into the next dimension. That's four to be grabbed. Same wall that T1 used, that lurk wall to try and get up into Oh no. Stunned up, taken down as nerfed push for T1, and it's the correct gamble. Curry, go pick up the operator and then find a kill with it. That is pretty best case scenario. That weapon finally getting the value that you had hoped for. And now it's X Flickbaiters running down the clock. The spike is dropped. They have to recover and they have three seconds to march onto the site. And unfortunately, it's like three HP on complex. He, there's no way he can go onto that side, especially with Pony. For this roster of X Flickbaiters and Steel, well, he'll limit or take your initial shot, keep you away to safety, and here we see it. Left. There's one freebie for Steel. He can even hunt for more with TP away. He stays safe. His utility slows, and hey, the team's here now. One enemy remaining. And so well, he, he doesn't need a team. Steel is a one-man okay. team. Out towards this A side, he shoots the ankles of Rustin for the ace. One man on the site. It's Pony. He needs to go big. He needs to at least hang on here as they look to push on. They have to clear all the angles still, and there it is. Pony, the one-man army himself. He's trying to match the same value, and yeah, there's just no time. As Nerf falls, he picks up one onto Steel, but what more do you get for it as Redux pushes forward? Should be able... No, that actually doesn't find an upgrade, because that's just another against the clock, and it doesn't go their way, and 
I was waiting to see how the series developed, Mimi, before we got here, and it does not pinch and see, and it, it really stings to let rounds slip away like that as Verno looking to be the one-man army here on the attacking side, but Seven matches that same energy, picks up two courtesy of the utility as the blade swing around the corner, Pony taken down, but that's the right click to the blades. No reset planted. for the jet as that spike gets planted, and we've seen this previously. It was back in the bonus round for T1. First point of contact for T1. Enemy remaining. Oh, and they just got the read as to where Verno's playing Curry and Steel hand in hand in tandem.